Hey, this is Mike Barker at Four Seasons RV and Medicine Hat. This is the 2018 Voltage toy hauler here that I've got that I'm gonna give you a walk around on the outside and inside. Uh, I'm just gonna start at the front here. So at the front, you have uh, a little bit of storage with your battery, 2500 Onan generator, built-in onboard generator, power retractable front legs, Two 30 pound propane tanks, one on each side. Exhaust for your onboard generator. Decent amount of storage in there. As you can see, you got the power cord. As well as a full docking station here too as well. So you have a hot water valve bypass, <coughs> black water, gray water tanks, uh, cable satellite, GFI plug, uh, city water connection, black flush tank, and a spot to winterize to as well, which is pretty amazing. Right beside that, 50 amp uh, power cord port. Your big slide here. This thing is in immaculate shape. Previous owner barely used it. Um, when I go through the inside, you'll see what I mean. Hard to tell from the tires, but the tires are good. There's no cracking. You have your fuel hose here as well as two uh, dispensers to there as well. Um, ladder up the side, folds down, you have a full walkable roof. Spot for a backup camera at the top. This thing does flip down to become a patio as well as a ramp. And it has a key slot instead of those flip over handles like most all toy haulers will have. Secondary door, this is, goes to the garage. You have your full power awning, you have two of these. Kitchen slide there. Outside TV with speakers, this has never ever ever been used. Lid is on a uh, gas struts. Closes quite nicely. I'll just open up this other side here so you can see the other side of the storage. Central vac in this thing too as well, as you can see, Dirt Devil. Docking lights, cap lights, you have LED strip as you can see that goes all the way across uh, in here too as well. And the other side of your power awning there. So let's uh, head inside here and uh, we'll go through and show you what it's all about. So pardon the mud, as you've seen outside there it is a little dirty. Got a little bit of rain there, so I'll just give you a quick pan through. All right, so starting in the kitchen area here. Microwave with the sticker on it, never been used before. Storage up top. You can see there's the, the rack. It's a convection of our microwave. LED lighting, nice little accent. You have a three, three burner stove here with a uh, cast grill top on it. You have also draw underneath for any kind of pots and pans as well as some more little drawers here too looks like it's got an extra knob in case one breaks which isn't a bad thing you have another huge drawer underneath the fridge there plenty of cabinet space and in, in drawers again underneath these are nice and deep Double door fridge and freezer. It is a two-way fridge and freezer, so it is uh, uh, propane and electric. Nice big island in the middle. Good deep sink. You have uh, Corian countertops here too as well. Nice residential faucet. Plug in just right there. More spot for all the other goodies for camping. Fireplace down there is a 5,000 BTU fireplace. It'll uh, it is forced air, so it is going to blow around in here pretty good, without having to run your furnace. 
Jensen soundbar with your radio and DVD player in it. It is also Bluetooth. This thing was also equipped with satellite, which was never ever used. Um, so all you would need is just your receiver with whatever uh, provider you decide to go with. Shelf with the TV remotes and stuff like that. Control panel. So there is 16.4 hours on that generator. Barely been used. You have your uh, generator uh, start there. Heated tank pads in this one too as well. Not really sure what that one does. I'll have to figure it out. But full touch here. So you can turn your lights on, your water pump, and water heater on. There is more to it. I think it's... There we go. So getting into it, you can open your uh, your or turn your awning lights on. It is all touch screen, sofa lights. So I don't know if the here. You know, let's see if I can get those guys going. Nope, not enough power. That's okay. So it is all Bluetooth. So you can control all this stuff from your phone too as well. Wardrobe slides. You can open up everything from your phone or this command center here. Really, really awesome feature. Your couch is heated and massaged. They do recline too as well. You also have, I don't know if you notice these, little trays here. So they got the little posts, those will sit in there so it acts as a nice little kind of uh, desk, I guess you can say. But there's your heat and massage as well. So moving towards the front to the bedroom. So you do have a double entrance. Down below you have a sweep. So if you are sweeping the floor, you kick that open, there's your dustpan. And then right beside it where it says Dirt Devil, that's uh, where you can hook up your hose and uh, be able to uh, vacuum up the floor and the little bit of carpet up in the bedroom there too as well. That is your second steps up, which go into the bathroom, which I will show you shortly here. But we'll come into the bedroom here. You have a huge wardrobe drobe slide. Nice curved wall here. I really do like this. Kind of opens it up a little bit nicer. Big wardrobe though. Lots and lots of space in here. Nice big drawers down below. More storage just above. USB port. Two of them just on this side right here. And then covered space there below. So this is a residential sized queen bed. You've got lots and lots of space under the bed for any extra blankets and pillows. As well as a spot for a TV. Looks like they just mounted some hooks just for their jackets, clothes and whatnot. You have another plug in over there. Moving into the uh, bathroom here. So you have a porcelain toilet, makes for uh, easy cleaning pocket door just right there a little bit more storage underneath with a medicine cabinet and your mirror here too as well good size shower skylights if you're not vertically challenged like myself And a little bit more storage for some of your smaller stuff too as well. So plenty of room. There is the uh, the second entry here, so directly into the bathroom. And coming down here, one last thing. So you have your th digital thermostat located right here. And it also comes with solar. So this thing right now, even though it is uh, pretty cloudy outside, 13.8 volts it's pushing out right now. That's keeping the battery charged, keeping the lights on inside the TV here, to, or inside the TV, inside the trailer uh, as well. So has your whole little monitoring system here to be able to show you where it's at. So everything's full. It's charging up, all that good stuff there too as well. So uh, gives you the option, shows battery type, so you can switch it from your 12 volt if you have a six volt system, all that good stuff. But uh, moving to the back here quickly, just to go through the garage, you have a loft just up top there. More and more cabinet space. Ladder here just to get up top. But let's go inside. So back in here, there's your bed. Ladder up top there just to, uh, to be able to get to the top bunk once it's uh, laid down. 
And as I mentioned, that door does drop down to a patio. There's your uh, your uh, railings there too as well for that. You have your table here with your posts, and that's going to mount in here because these do uh, turn into a bench, so you can have a secondary dining area. Garage uh, entry. There's a window there. Light switches, you have speakers. Washer and dryer hookup with a uh, uh, a sub in here as well. So if you got the music bumping, it's gonna be good. Another exhaust port right there and down there. So you can get somewhat of a cross flow of air in here. Uh, there is heat ducts in here too as well. So you do have a heat duct down there. Um, AC ducts up top in the ceiling too as well. So gives you a rundown of the garage area here and this door here goes back out to the kitchen. So if you have any questions about this, let me know, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks.